I'm here to review the Batman and Scooby-Doo Mysteries, issue number 9. And I really like this one. So in it, things actually seem to be going well for the team. Uh, it seems like the Scooby team will be getting an award. Things are going well. Uh, Commissioner Gordon's there. Uh, everything seems to be happy, but the mystery team, well, they're getting framed, and Batman thinks he knows who's responsible for it, however, there is a twist. So if you really know about the history of Batman and the history of Scooby-Doo, the surprise about who the villain is, I think, will be uh, something to really appreciate. It's really cool. It's very much feels like a sequel, but doesn't feel like a sequel to a Scooby-Doo episode or Batman episode. I feel like you really have to read it to really know. And for me, it felt like a very good sequel, very clever one. It was great to see that character, and I think that character worked very well. And Batgirl's involved, so that's pretty cool. I like having her involved in the actions. She's good to have there. Uh, Batman's looking very much like he does in the Super Friends, like Super Friends design. And Commissioner Gordon, uh, Batman Animated Series design, Batgirl, uh, it looks pretty similar to Batman the Animated Series. And there's some cool stuff there, like the Sheriff of Scooby-Doo Mystery Incorporated is there. You get to have him and Gordon in the same scene. That's cool. So yeah, and uh, there's some cool cameos in this one. Uh, some that kind of... Um, you know, a fun little thing, and then one cameo that's actually very important to the plot, and it was uh, a great cameo. Uh, so, but all the stuff d involving the villain and the villain's plan, all that stuff is very cool. Uh, characters getting framed, that storyline can get old, but the way it's used here I think is very clever, and it makes a lot of sense considering who the villain is and what the villain is doing it actually works extremely well. And they really use the characters very well, not just the mystery team, but also Batman, Batgirl, Gordon. I feel like they're all used well in this. So this was one of the more uh, issues that kind of stood out. And it, it just felt really clever and, and a lot of good surprises and lots of good little things. Well, the main plot was also really engaging. So I, I feel very happy about the Batman Scooby-Doo Mysteries issue number nine.